Welcome to Understand. In this video, we're going to go over metrics and how they can give you better insight into your code. Understand is extremely efficient at collecting metrics about the code it analyzes. These metrics can be extracted automatically via command line calls, exported to spreadsheets, viewed graphically, and even customized via the Understand Perl and Python APIs. Let's start with an example project that I've already got open and I'd like to look more closely at. We'll go up to Metrics, Browse Metrics. This will pull up the Metrics browser. By default, we're at the Project Summary Metrics. Let's say for this project, I want to know the number of executable statements. Find it down here, looks like it's 60,578. I also want to know the number of preprocessor lines. Find it down here. Looks like it's 17,498. Within this project, I want to find a particular file to look more closely at. We can find it with the entity filter. When I click it in the entity filter, it will pull up the metrics browser at that file. On the left hand side, you can see where within the directory structure this file resides. And on the right hand side, we can see the summary of the metrics of this file. Now I want to know the number of inactive lines in this file particularly. Find it down here, it looks like it's 111. Another way to quickly pull up the metrics browser for a file is to have the file open in the editor and to right click to get the context menu. From here we can go down to browse metrics and this will pull up the metrics browser as well. Okay. Within this file, there's a particular function that I want to look at called connection cleanup. I can find this function in the entity filter. And likewise, when I click it, it will pull it up in the metrics browser. Now for this function, I want to know the cyclomatic complexity or the number of decisions in this function. I might want to do this to limit code complexity or to determine the number of test cases required to test this function. So for this function, I can see that the cyclomatic complexity is 8. Another way to pull up the metrics browser for a function is to simply find it in the information browser. From here, we can see basic metrics with this dropdown, showing count line, cyclomatic complexity, etc. Or if we click the icon to the left of that, this will pull up the metrics browser at that function. If I ever want to know what a metric means, I can click metric definitions in the top right of the metrics browser. This will pull up an interface where I can see a list of all of the metrics in understand. There are a few drop downs here. The left one filters by category of metric. There's complexity, count and object oriented metrics. From the middle dropdown, we can filter by language. Or we can simply search for the metric we're interested in and select it for a detailed description and a list of languages that metric is available for. Let's say I want to find the average cyclomatic. Pull that up. And I can see the languages that it's available for. Now let's say I want to visually see which file in this project is largest in terms of lines of active code and the average cyclomatic complexity for that file. One way to do that is with a metric tree map. We can access the metric tree map by going over to metrics, metrics tree map. Here we can map metrics for files, classes, or functions. In this case, we want to map the metric by file. We're going to map the size to count line code and we're going to map the color to average cyclomatic, which is already selected. From here, we just click generate tree map. From here, we can easily see from the shade of blue, which files are the most complex in terms of average cyclomatic complexity. And also based on the size, we can see which files are the largest. Proxyutil.c, for example, here has 2,863 lines of active code and an average cyclomatic complexity of 19. Whereas modproxyajp.c has an average cyclomatic complexity of 103. Okay, now I want to export some metrics from this project to send to a coworker. 
How can I do that? Well, there's a couple ways. If I go down to the bottom here and I click Generate Detailed Metrics, this will pull up an Export Metrics interface. From here, I can select the metrics that I'm interested in sending. Let's say Average Cyclomatic and Count Line Code. You can select where to save the output to. By default, it'll save to a CSV file. Then I would press Export. The other way to access that interface is to go up to Metrics, Export Metrics, and you'll be at the same place. As we can see, Understands Metrics report the data to you and let your team interpret it however you think is best. For more information on Metrics or any other tool within Understand, you can visit support.sidetools.com.